Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Moses and I will be going over the force, equilibrium, and vector addition lab with you today. To start out, let me show you what we're working with. This is the force table and as you can see it goes from zero degrees all the way around to 360 degrees. Attached to this table, you'll see three strings. In the center of the table, you will see a little knob. That knob has to be moved so that it's in translational equilibrium, which is directly center. How do you do that? You have to find the amount of mass on the third string that will bring it to translational equilibrium. This is a picture of your mass hanger. This is your mass set that we will be using for this lab. So let's get started. If you look at your lab sheet, part one says mass one is 100 grams at zero degrees. So, I hung 100 grams of mass, and I placed the string directly at zero degrees. Mass 2 is 150 degrees, I'm sorry, 150 grams at 90 degrees. So, I have 150 grams on this mass hanger, and I'm going to move it to 90 degrees. So, before we go on, let's calculate theoretically what we have. 100 grams is 0 0.1 kilograms mass times gravity, 9.8, times the cosine of angle theta, which is 0. And that equals 0 0.98 newtons. So, that's what we put for the force in the x direction. Then... We go to mass 2, which is 150 grams at 90 degrees. So that's 0 0.150 kilograms times 9.8 gravity times the cosine of 90 degrees gives you 0. And 0 0.150 kilograms times gravity 9.8 times the sine of 90 degrees gives you 1.47 newtons, which you place here. So you have forces in the x direction, and you have forces in the y direction. Now, since the following mass and angle has to be experimentally determined. So for my mass 3, when I did my experiment, I got a mass of 182 grams, which looks like this on my mass hanger. And the angle that I got was 237 degrees. So I'm gonna move this to 237. Make sure my other angles are correct. So now that I'm doing it live, my angle changes a bit, and it's at 238 degrees. So in that case, I would normally put 238, but since I've already worked this out, I'm going to leave it at 237. So now we're going to do the same thing we did in the first part. 0 0.182 kilograms times 9.8 times a cosine of 237 gives us negative 0 0.97 newtons, which we put for the third force in the x direction. And then for the third force in the y direction, it's 0 0.182 times 9.8 times the sine of 237, which gives us negative 
1.49 newtons. So you add these force vectors and end up with 0 0.01 newtons. And you add these force vectors in the y direction and you end up with negative 0 0.02 newtons. This is what that looks like. The sum of the forces in the x direction, 0 0.01 newtons. The sum of the forces in the y direction, negative 0 0.02 newtons. And that's basically how you complete this. Then you answer a few questions at the end of the worksheets. Thank you. Have fun.